Punctuation can help express ideas and can have different effects on readers. An exclamation point can show excitement. An ellipsis can create tension. A dash can be used for emphasis. A colon introduces new but related information in a sentence. Okay. Um, let's look at the sample sentence here. Redwoods are tall, but this one is really tall. I ask, what's the best punctuation for each sentence? The dash emphasizes that the second part of the sentence is important. Okay, It shows the speaker knows that redwoods are tall, but that this one is taller than most, and he wants to emphasize that point to the readers. Okay, So we're going to work to um, discuss how we're going to rewrite each of these sentences with the punctuation that will have the most effect on the reader. Okay, So, the deer walked through the quiet forest. Suddenly, a shot ran out, rang out. Okay, what is going to be the best punctuation to use? The deer walked through the quiet forest. Is that a complete sentence? Does this, I think we're creating tension because he's walking through a quiet forest. Nothing is happening. And then suddenly a shot rang out. Okay. So this should probably be an ellipsis and then an Exclamation point. Work on two, three, and four with your learning adult. See if you can decide what punctuation is going to have the most effect on the reader. And then come back to the video and I will walk through it with you. All right. So here's the answer key. And see, I, I did this one different, but that's okay. A shot rang out. We don't know what happened. Okay, I would have put the ellipsis here and then an exclamation point here. It's just showing that um, different people have different perspectives on what is going to affect the reader the most. Okay, so number two, there are many kinds of trees here. Instead of separating that, they combine the sentences, elms, oaks, and cedars, using a colon to make a list. Look out! Exclamation point. That tree is about to fall! Exclamation point. We are showing emotion. Oh my goodness, get out of the way! Right? We're trying to warn someone. Let's turn back. It's so dark. Okay? This is being used for emphasis. We want to turn back. Why? Well, because it's really dark. Turn to page 309 in your reader's notebook. We're going to work on what we just, kind of like what we just did. We're going to choose appropriate punctuation um, for each of the sentences below. We have our handy dandy chart here reminding us of the, the, the punctuation we could use and what it's used for in an example. So we are going to a redwood forest, an amazing place, and we are looking forward to it. Okay, we are going to a redwood forest. Maybe we're excited about that? I don't know. Or maybe we're emphasizing, okay, an amazing place, okay, and we are really looking forward to it, okay. So I would actually put, um, after forest, I would put a dash, We and we're going to obviously need to capitalize this one, my goodness. We are going to a redwood forest, um, dash, an amazing place dash setting this apart okay and we're really looking forward to it all right do number two three and four deciding which punctuation is going to fit the best and don't forget to capitalize the first word in each sentence they didn't do that for us so that's your job all right come back to the video when you're finished with this notebook page please Good writers use punctuation to make their ideas clear and to create certain effects on readers. Okay, an important part of revising is checking to make sure that all your punctuation is correct. Revising also can include um, varying your punctuation to have different effects on your readers. All right, and making sure that you're using your quotations correctly, including the punctuation inside the quotation, the quotation marks, and where 
is your capitalization happening okay so you are going to practice this <clears throat> on page 311 in your readers notebook okay you're going to rewrite each of these four sentences to add needed capital letters quotation marks and other missing punctuation you're going to use ellipses <clears throat> and exclamation marks for effect where they are appropriate okay let's do the first one together you have a lot of big trees in your yard said jeff all right we are missing capital y our quote should start before the u and end after yard but what needs to be there um, inside the quotation mark to set off who's speaking and what they're saying <clears throat> right a comma inside your last set of quotation marks and what needs to come at the end of your entire sentence a period good job you're gonna work on two three and four um, on your own deciding what you need to add and where you need to use um, exclamation marks okay have fun with this have your learning adult check your work